Welcome back to El Cheapo FX TV, uh, take four, I think. We're not having such good luck today with this thing. Uh, I've spilled, I've made a huge mess here. Uh, the video stopped feeding, all kinds of things happened. Anyway, uh, but today I want to show you how to make old blood or scab blood. Uh, I have this, it's got a little bit on the side there, and it says right there, scabs, backwards, written by Rob Pendergraft, who I... Uh, whose blood I apparently went home with. I didn't mean to. Sorry, Rob. I'll get it back to you. There's not much left anyway. But uh, I put some water in it to thin it out because it started to dry up. And that's when take one, when I spilled it all over the place. So I've got blood everywhere here. But what I wanted to tell you about was making blood for uh, zombies or scabs or old blood, or old wounds, things like that. And it's really very, very easy. Uh, there's recipes online for it. You can get, you know, there's probably Dick Smith's version of it is out there somewhere. But uh, several times on set in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of a forest someplace, suddenly the director said, oh, we need a zombie, right? <clears throat> okay. Well, if you don't have the supplies you need, you kind of got to make do. I did have fake blood already made with caro syrup and food coloring. Uh, and it worked great. Uh, I had my blood. I went out found a dirt area that had some smooth, some soft, California's finest, silty kind of dirt, and just poured the blood in the cup, sprinkled the dirt in, mixed it up till it was the texture that I liked, and voila. Uh, I have a couple of examples on my arm already. I don't need to, to smear any more, but um, this right here, let's see, that's Rob's blood, and that's pretty good. He's got some yellows in there, and it's, you know, and it was it's a lot thinner, obviously, because it had water in it. And then this is my dirt blood. Maybe you can see that there, like that. Which, with the dirt, it gives you a nice texture. Uh, it's not necessarily unhealthy, and you get, you know, there's little pebbles and crap in there, and you get all kinds of stuff, right? So it, it works out pretty nice. Um, and it's very easy. Uh, I discovered something new uh, recently. Caro makes, excuse me, Caro makes a, a, a syrup that's a dark syrup. So that'll save you a little bit on food coloring, and it kind of speeds up the process. So that's what I used on this batch, which is, like I said, the, I had to put it there, right? That one, right there. Okay, that's it. Thank you.